Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and if you're looking for a quick, easy, and delicious appetizer to munch on while watching the Super Bowl, today I'm gonna to show you how to make stuffed mushrooms with spinach and cheese. They are so good. You're gonna to wanna to pop them in your mouth one after the other. First, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel, and let's get cooking. These stuffed mushrooms are so easy to make, you're really gonna love it. Here's what you're going to need. One pound of fresh mushrooms, and you can go with whatever variety you'd like. I tend to like the basic white ones because I think they're just the perfect size for this recipe. Also, you'll need some melted butter, just enough to brush onto each of these uh, mushroom caps. One package of frozen spinach. Uh, just make sure that it's thawed and then we're gonna be uh, making sure they're dried before we chop it up as well. One eight ounce block of softened cream cheese, two cloves of garlic, one teaspoon crushed black pepper, and then some grated Parmesan cheese. And here you don't need to measure. It's just enough to sprinkle on top of each of the mushrooms. It's probably about a third of a cup if I were to guess. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm first going to take these mushrooms that have already been washed and patted dry, and I'm going to remove the stems. I'll place the caps into a bowl and leave the stems on the cutting board so I can mince them finely with a knife. When they look like this, go ahead and place them in a mixing bowl. Take the thawed spinach and drain all the excess water into the sink. Then you can chop up the spinach and add it to the bowl with the minced mushroom stems. Add in the cream cheese, the minced garlic, and the ground pepper. Then mix. Normally I use a spoon, but today I'm going to try my electric hand mixer because this cream cheese isn't quite soft enough. I've just gotta be careful to set it to low so nothing flies out of the bowl. With everything thoroughly combined, set the mixture aside. That definitely worked. Then take a brush and brush melted butter onto the mushroom caps and place them onto a baking sheet. Now you can begin filling the mushroom caps with the spinach and cheese mixture. As you can see, I'm piling it on pretty high. You don't need to skimp on this part because there's plenty of this mixture. While I do this, I should tell you that I really wanted to wear a cute football jersey today since this video is sort of some inspiration for Super Bowl, but I don't own one, nor do I own anything really athletic for that matter. It just was never uh, something that was impressed upon us when we were growing up. It was always about music in our home and never really about sports. But that said, I love the Super Bowl because for me, it's all about the food. Who doesn't love good food at a Super Bowl party? When you've got all the caps filled, sprinkle the tops with grated Parmesan cheese. And now we can stick them in the oven to bake at 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. These look amazing, if I do say so myself. Now you'll wanna serve these while they're still hot so that the cheese is still nice and melty. In fact, I think I'm gonna taste one right now. Hopefully not burn my tongue. Mmm, that is so good. It literally just melts in your mouth. Truly one of my favorite party appetizers. So if you take it to any party, it will be a hit. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. 
Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Mm-hmm.